some of you are about to marry and you don't know what your partner does he only goes out and come and he says he makes money you don't know where the money comes in and all that listen to me life is full of legal issues if you go and marry somebody you don't know what he does an aspect of the law will come after you when he's finally arrested you may get yourself involved in something and some of you because oh he's my husband so he asked me to sign this i didn't read it he asked me to do this I, he just told me to do it if the person you are married to is into things you don't know don't sign anything and so send me done no? but the does no i would answer woman no you can't do that anybody that can't show you where they work can't show you their office can't show you what they do yet they have money to run a life go and find out if you marry a drug addict very soon you will be in trouble when national security and yoko and other stuff comes in the house most of you will have house arrest if you marry a criminal it will come after you do you know abortion is a crime in ghana you know like you know <laughs> I won't continue. <laughs> you know, <I'm... laughs> are you not afraid? <laughs> so you really know. You can be in prison for it. Know it. There are certain sexual acts that the law is against it. You can't sleep with a woman from her anus. The day she decides to report and attack you, that you were abusing her sexually because you forced her to have sex with her from her anus. Because no matter how pleasurable a thing is, anything that is risky to a human life, the law is against it. Anything that is risky, no matter how pleasurable it is, that is why in certain parts of the, of the world, like Ghana, they are against... Uh, marijuana and certain hard drugs because they have understood it to know that it's against the human life it's not good for the human system over time but it's pleasurable it has addictive elements in it people love to do it over and over so what the government does is that then we enact a law to stop people from doing it you have to be careful the fact that you have traveled outside the country doesn't mean you can have a wife in Ghana and have a wife in abroad. The law can deal with you for both. A young man you want to marry, one day per Google, Ghana constitution and Ghana's law about marriage. Read one or two things. Every child you give birth to, that there is a, an evidence that this is your child. It's a crime not to take care of the child. That thing about say, hey, your back, why not go far nearby? But if DNA test is done and it proves that this child is yours, you were only being irresponsible. The price they will put on you for that irresponsibility, it will shock you. We are in a generation that uh, uh, say, oh, no, your back. Me, ma, me, ma, kasa, any how. No child is the child of a woman. They only kept the child. The seed came from you. Your child is not your wife's child. She only had the incubator inside of her. Receive the seed from you. That is why it is men that have seed. Women don't have seed. Women have wombs. What the one that gives a cup and the one that has coke. Who owns coke? And without coke, what is the use of a, a cup? No, no, no. Who, who, who will be going after a cup? Not cup of kutanesa. Empty cup. No kutanesa, not the copper. If you see anybody with a glass, there must be a wine in it. There must be a drink in it. That is why it's holding. The moment the drink finishes, he puts the cup down. Why? Because the cup is not done. What matters is what is inside. Listen to me. Actually, what, what really matters is the seed that enters the womb. We have a society where when two people are not giving birth, the next thing is the man tells the woman, hey, you, are, you are barren, go. No, do you know what it means? 
she only has a container to provide if the child is not working if you can ejaculate and yet no child that means there's something wrong with the seed there are most women who are still in marriages without children not because of anything eh? if they step out why is it that when they step out to do ivf or whatever it is sometimes most of the times it works there are certain women if not for godliness <laughs> and they decide to sleep once with another man there'll be pregnancy but most often they are around by reading of faithfulness they are around and yet we are not appreciating them and the, the painful thing is that we have done it in such a way that they begin to blame themselves that they are the ones that can't have children then you are married legally married to somebody here in ghana then in the middle of the marriage you go and give birth to and with another woman do you know what you have done if your current wife takes you to court do you know what you will face and a woman you go and sleep with somebody and take seed with, for the person and bring it to another man that's the highest form of deception so if you sit down and tell say mreni my name and mreni my name if you are married your car is not for you your house is not for you let me tell you now so they, when the day come it will not be a shock your money is not for you there are about three or four people that you have to have intact in your life your doctor must be intact you must have a lawyer so some of you in university right now you must have about three four solid friends one is in medical school <laughs> one is in, <laughs> in the law school i'm telling you it's very necessary the one is a spiritual papa <laughs> you must have a pastor intact somebody you know has done business with god and is not playing games he says he has weight in the spirit you must have one that you relate to he knows you you know him 